So in this video I'm gonna talk about the new mid-season update in FIFA Mobile 22 and about the FIFA Mobile 23 as well which is probably not coming very very soon. I was unfortunately right with that so yeah make sure to like and subscribe if you are excited for it. So with the FIFA Mobile beta a lot of people were very very excited that we were gonna get the new FIFA Mobile 23 event right it, it would be very very good and that but I said it in a couple of my videos that I don't think we are getting from Vault 23 quite soon because we knew that they were going to increase the seasons and it's going to take even more time to get the new FIFA Mobile up right now, the new FIFA Mobile update and get FIFA Mobile 23. And I was unfortunately right. A lot of people were excited, but I knew it was, it was not going to be FIFA Mobile 23. It was very, very evident to me. But unfortunately, it's not. But we are getting a mid-season update where we are going to check out everything that's coming out in FIFA Mobile 22 very, very soon. So this post is from EA Antoine, who is an EA community manager, and he pretty much tells us at first what's what's coming um way very soon like thank you for following this series of articles as we continue to provide more in-depth communication and transparency on what you can expect from fifa mobile we are excited to share the latest news regarding the future of the game including the mid-season update and the fifa mobile uh, fifa world cup 2022 coming soon in november so next month in november we are gonna be getting a new new event which is uh, fifa mobile world cup and also mid-season update and world cup it's gonna be after the group stage challengers event so make sure to uh, make sure to remember that as well um in our mid-season update we are elevating um your experience with a gameplay update a robust roster update to our base as uh, as depicted in real life football a new UI look and more. So they're going. They might change base player items. Like for example, Messi was 93. He might become 91, just like he's in FIFA 23. But it's not gonna be from Ball 23. It's gonna still be from Ball 22. So this just proves that uh, FIFA Ball 22 is gonna last for even longer than we expected. I feel like it's gonna last for like maybe another like six to ten months. I'm I'm very, very sad to end up, but I feel like it's gonna be the case. You will now retain all progress from this season and will be able to continue improving your ultimate team. So the teams are not gonna change, you will still be able to play with your team. Here is what's planned uh, for um, for the mid-season update. Season progression update, yep, that's good. Uh, FIFA World Cup 2022 mode, gameplay update, including advanced passing, base player roster, um, update and new kits and crests as well as a fresh new look so season progression means that the FIFA Mobile season will continue forward as planned as we progress through the midpoint of the season since this uh, since this is a mid-season update you will not lose any progress to your team so you're not getting a, FIFA, a new FIFA Mobile that's pretty much what it means like the past few months ne next event player overalls will keep steadily increasing uh, especially as we roll out exciting new events when it comes to ranks player training and skill boost skill boost levels for the season there are no changes yet we are continuing to remove them and we will share more review them and we will share more details in due time all right so we are just gonna get new events just like we used to and it's not gonna be new from ball when does this uh, when does the season reset we do not have a date to share but at, uh, at this point we're around the mid-season update uh, or midpoint of the season um, there is still a lot of a lot of this with mobile season left to play so they're pretty much saying that we are not getting it soon we are it's gonna take a long long time still to get the new FIFA mobile season will um, will this affect my team it's not gonna affect your team now FIFA mobile uh, FIFA World Cup 2022 mode uh, the mid-season update will start with one of the most anticipated moments, the FIFA World Cup 22. Experience the, the thrill of competing with your uh, favorite na uh, nation in the World Cup mode. Play as any of the 32 qualifying teams. We know the teams, right? Including Argentina, Brazil, and so on. We are excited to share more information and delve deep into what you can expect during the World Cup soon. Now, uh, the new gameplay update including advanced passing that's good right we uh, we saw in beta i haven't played beta because i don't have an android phone or i don't live in india or canada bam if you are 
if you if you go if you qualify with both of these you can go ahead and uh, play the beta version but we're adding the new type of passing and controls to help you dominate possession break through your opponent defenses with powerful driven pa passes find the space to create opportunities in tight gaps with uh, dink passes and orchestrate your team with trigger runs watch the advanced passing trailer here so you can go ahead and watch it on FIFA Mobile's official site as well the trailer if you want to we will be sharing a deep dive of the advanced passing in an upcoming upcoming article along with other gameplay improvements yep and we talked about beta base player roster update so here it pretty much that that says that uh we will uh, they they will change the base items of, of some players for us overall skill boost um league team position and so on and so on for example uh the fact that who transferred um the darwin nunes transferred to liverpool they are gonna change their club to liverpool from benfica and they might change their overall or they will probably change their overall as well uh, to correspond with fifa 23 um but it's not gonna be from ball 23 uh, new club kits plus new national team cross kits. In addition, we will also get the new 2022 to 2023 club kits so you can rock their new jerseys as you play FIFA Mobile. So, yeah. Uh, so, pretty much, we are getting a lot of updates just like it is FIFA Mobile 23, but it's not FIFA Mobile 23 because we will still go our team and uh, it's not going to change our, our, our club our team our players are not going to change and the ratings are going to increase and yeah that's that's it uh fresh new look the mid-season update will bring a fresh new look to FIFA ball inspired by fifa 23 and the world cup so graphics are going to increase as well and ui reskin will uh okay you will notice a new ui reskin with awesome key visuals when you log into the game that wraps up the bulk of the mid-season update along with these great uh, great additions like the world cup and advanced passing a number of general and gameplay improvements are on the way we can't wait to share the release date of the mid-season update with you soon so this should have been this should have been fifa mobile 23 uh, update uh, and they 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 have they they should have given us the date for the new FIFA Mobile 23 update, but unfortunately it's not. It's a mid-season update. It's good that we are getting a new update. The graphics are gonna look better. Uh, the new overalls are gonna be here. Uh, the FIFA Mobile World Cup is gonna be great as well, and uh, the new passing system, gameplay updates, all the sort of stuff. But it's not FIFA Mobile 23. Uh, a lot of people were ex were expecting FIFA Mobile 23. I knew I, I knew 90% at least that it's not it was not gonna come out but still seeing all these all these other 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 people disappointed is not is not a good good sight. And that's it for today's video as well. Make sure to like and subscribe and peace.